Alright, who wants to do the intro? Any of you guys? Hey guys, thanks for watching our Old Hat Outdoors YouTube channel. My boys, let's see, one of them is on a plane heading to the coast to go surfing. One is probably playing with Legos and the others, I don't know. So I'm here alone, August 21st, six days into my elk season. I haven't hunted yet. It's been 100 degrees every day, which sounds miserable for elk hunting. And as you can see, very, very smoky. But we are gonna try tomorrow morning for a few hours because we've had a bunch of elk on camera. However, this afternoon, we're gonna do one of my favorite August activities, which includes these and the river behind me. To make it official, I've gotta grab an old hat. This is a not so old hat. There, St. Croix. All right, got my swimming stuff on. Heading to the river, gonna catch some crayfish, eat them. Maybe if we're lucky, crash that wedding. We'll see what they're serving. We're looking for some monster crayfish. All right, we're gonna try snorkeling for crayfish. You can throw out traps here, no problem, and probably catch quite a few, we've done it before. But when the weather's warm like it is, and honestly, it's hot and smoky, I might as well be in the water. There's some monsters here. Legitimate huge, huge crayfish. So the first spot we're gonna try is this, this big sand bowl right here. There's not a ton of small rock. Down here I found just some monsters. Snorkeling over them from two feet to maybe eight feet down and, and dive down after them and get them. We actually might even find some in this pool right behind the camera. That's our, that's our goal. Is it good enough for a dinner? I got my pail, which we'll also cook them in. Let's see what happens. All right, we're gonna try in here first. I'm gonna ditch my phone before it's too late. There's one. Chop, chop. Look at that claw. That's a good average size right there. couple small ones that we might use for bait later. All right, I'm gonna swim back along these rocks, right past those rocks. There's a really nice sandy bowl, and I usually get one or two monsters out of there. We're gonna try that and then head up to the small rocks because I'm seeing lots of little ones here. Oh. 
Okay. I swam over to that sand bowl and it was worth it. We got some monsters. Look at the size of that crayfish. Freaking huge. I mean, that's a big one. In comparison to what we caught earlier. Not even close. Look at that, scared, I'd be scared. There's another one. That one looks tiny, but he'll still eat up. This one here has one claw, but it's massive. It's a massive claw. Finally, this guy, not too big, but he'll eat. So in size comparison, we got some we're gonna fish with and some we're gonna eat. That's after the first stop. That one there is so big. I'm cold. When there's no sun, there's still a sun, obviously. And the sun's not out because the smoke chill and it's harder to see when it's cloudy like this from the smoke because that sun's not penetrating the water we still got a few let's get a few more this is where i lay and warm up because oh, i'm cold and these blocks are nice and warm uh. Found here were smaller fishing size crayfish. I don't know why. I don't know where the big ones are. We have caught quite a few here and we've thrown most of them back. But uh, a lot of smaller ones here. I'm gonna warm up and I'm gonna get the stove. We're gonna cook those guys and maybe try to catch a fish. Alright, what we're gonna do is I'm taking the three biggest ones. These guys here, that's plenty enough for me to eat right now. I'm gonna release these bigger, these in between. I mean, these are still great eating size, I think. But we are gonna let them go, get them next year. I got guy there, he's a little small. This one here, he's got a good pincher. I mean, he's a good size eater right there. And this guy, see ya. These three are the lucky eaters. All right, water's boiling right behind me. We have three of these big guys we're gonna boil up. Normally, if I got a bigger bunch, I'm gonna boil them for about 15 minutes. But since I just have the three, we're gonna go about 10. You've probably seen what happens when you throw these guys in the pot. We don't have anything but crayfish. We don't have any potatoes or corn. We do have some, uh, some seasoning. Boil up, they're gonna turn color right away. They're gonna cook in there for about 10-ish minutes. 10 minutes will boil these guys. Come back soon. All right, we have boiled for about 12 minutes. The steam come out, here's what we got. This is what they look like. Cooked, bright orange. If you were here, you could certainly smell them. So, we're gonna let them sit in there just for another 10 minutes or so. Get a good knife. Actually, you know what? I might as well use it all. Because if I come home with this butter, my wife's gonna throw it out because the knife was dirty. That's why we're using it all. We're gonna melt that. We're gonna add to the butter some Old Bay. Slow cook that. And by slow cook, I just mean melt the butter. Stir in the seasoning. And we're just gonna dump the Old Bay in as it's bubbling.
Okay, here's what we got. Here's our crayfish all boiled up. Our dipping, you could say dipping sauce, right here, which is butter and Old Bay. Let me show you how I eat these guys. I mean, it's gonna be in the pinchers, and with these guys, that's a crazy amount. That is a big, that's a big pincher, and in the tail. We're gonna start with the pincher, and I'm just gonna pull this guy off like this. So we got a pincher. I pull this little part of the claw off, I guess. I take my knife, stick it in the shell like this, I'll drain some water out, and I just turn the knife so it cracks, just like that. And then I can peel away the shell once I get a good crack, and I get this enormous piece of meat. It's just a huge piece, and I can dip it in our sauce. Mm, 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 mm. Happy dance. It's so good. It's so delicious. The texture and the amount of meat on these guys is really incredible. So for the tail, we're just gonna twist like this. You get the tail off. The fish jump right behind me. So I just start working around in the pieces. You can see how it's all connected here. You just peel it off layer by layer. Sometimes you gotta soak your crayfish if they're real dirty water. These guys here aren't. The water's pretty clean, so the crayfish is gonna be pretty clean, the meat's gonna be pretty clean. You get to this part of the tail right here. I like to separate the poop vein, because who likes eating poop right here? That goes, and you're left with one big piece of tail meat. If you're brave, you can suck their brains, but I'm not that desperate. There's pizza in town. Take the knife in, give it a little twist, break that claw open. Maybe another big chunk of meat. Butter and Old Bay. Hard to beat with all that's going crazy in the world. Sometimes it's nice just to spend a day on the river catching crayfish. Listening to the ospreys behind you. Look at the size of that pincher. That's insane. Those pinchers are so good. My favorite. Something about the texture. A little firmer. I mean, these guys were swimming an hour ago. Given that tail, it's pretty easy to find. Here's a closer up view. Bye bye poop. I'm sure there's lots of technical terms for all of this. I don't know. I just know what tastes good and what doesn't. All right, this is my last bite. Sometimes your taste buds just cheer, cheer you on. This is one of those times. Hey, thanks for watching. We had a great time snorkeling for some huge Idaho crayfish. Had a delicious crayfish boil. Just a snack to hold me over. A great way to spend a hot, smoky August day. Hopefully tomorrow it'll clear up a little bit, cool off a little bit. I get to chase some elk. I'm sure I'll be warmer than I am right now. Wish my boys are with me, but they're all doing teenage boy stuff. But hey, got my old hat. See you later. Mama Osprey just brought some fish.